Photoshop CS6 is also integrated Content Aware Fill into the behavior of the patch tool. And what that means is that you get less repetition of detail inside of patched areas. So I'm looking at that moved version of the model from the previous movie. And I've got that same selection outline going here that I created using the lasso tool. If you're working along with me in the sample file and you'd like to load this exact same selection outline, go up to the select menu and choose the load selection command. Now everything should be set right by default. Document should read move model.tiff, which is the name of the current image. Channel should read lasso selection. If so, go ahead and click OK and you'll get the very same selection outline that you see in the movie. Now let's say I want to completely get rid of the model. So I'll go ahead and switch from the spot healing brush or content aware move tool, whichever occupies this slot, to the patch tool. And you can see by default up here in the options bar, the patch setting is normal and the source radio button is turned on, which is what we want. Then you go ahead and drag the selection outline to a different location without going too far outside of the canvas because then you're going to get that vertical cut that's going through her head and hands there. We want to basically sort of snap into alignment with the bottom right corner. And then I'll go ahead and release and Photoshop will essentially keep all the information on the inside of this base selection and just try to blend the edges. The problem is if I press Control H or Command H on a Mac, you can see a fair amount of repetition of detail. Here's a trio of dandelions with another one up and to the right. And there's that same trio of dandelions with a one up and to the right. And this is the kind of thing that potentially a decade ago you could have gone away with, but these days viewers are savvy enough to see through it. So I'll press Control Z or Command Z on a Mac to undo that change. We still have the selection outline as you can see. Now I'm going to change the patch setting from normal to content aware. Now this is not the kind of setting that you can change dynamically as in the case of adaptation in the previous movie. You have to re-perform the modification. So I'm going to switch to content aware. And what that's going to allow us to do is switch up the information a little bit. So I'll go ahead and drag that selection outline down and to the right once again. Go ahead and release in order to let Photoshop do its thing. Now, a lot of the information over here in a central area of the image is in better shape. However, we are still getting that cluster of dandelions that was so obvious that we saw before. If that happens to you, why then what you might want to do is just drag the selection outline again and see if you don't get better results. Because each time you drag that selection outline around, you're forcing Photoshop to reevaluate the content of where fill and make new decisions. And in this case, we absolutely get rid of that repetition of detail. Now we've got other repeated details going on, but they're a lot more subtle than what we were seeing before. And if I press Control H or Command H on a Mac in order to hide the selection outline, it's as if the model was never there. And that's how you take advantage of the Content Aware Patch Tool here inside Photoshop CS6.